I'm sure you guys have all been to a playground before, whether recently or a couple years ago, and there you probably go on all the stairs, all the slides, all the playground stuff, and play around. And that is actually really similar to how electrons move in the light dependent reaction. Let's say we have a playground structure, with kids in the playground and parents off to the side. What do you think would happen to the kid if we gave them some sugar like a candy bar? The kid would get hyper and start running all over the place. They would go down the slides and up the poles and bounce off the walls. Crazy stuff. As the sugar runs out, the kid might feel tired and sit down to take a break. But another kid picks up their candy bar and eats it. That kid goes on the high and starts running around, just like the previous kid. What happens to the kids is similar to what happens to electrons in the light dependent reaction, where their main goal is to produce ATP and NADPH. Let's now relate the two things. We can say that the electrons are the kids, the sun is our candy bar, the parents are our hydrogen ions, which we'll talk more about later, and the playground is the machines in the light dependent reaction. The sun excites the electrons, like how sugar excites the kids. As the kid runs down the playground, they lose energy and take a break at a terminal. Electrons, on the other hand, start from a place called photosystem 2 and run, stopping at photosystem 1, or PS1. The kid could drop the candy bar at the terminal and another kid could pick up the bar and start running. Likewise, the second set of electrons get excited and start moving too. As the kids are running around, they might attract their parents' attention. I mean, they're probably stomping and screaming around, it'd be hard not to notice. The parents seeing this might feel the need to calm the Tiber Demon child and walk up to the playground to try to get to the kid. Mind you, playgrounds are not made for an adult body, so the parents can't go into the structure itself, but they can go around or under it. We can see this in the light dependent reaction as well. Hydrogen ions are being pumped in the membrane by the energy released by the moving electrons, like parents walking to the other side of the playground to get to their kid. Eventually, too many parents will be on one side of the playground, forcing them to find a way out. Similarly, hydrogen ions move and cause a hydrogen ion concentration imbalance in the membrane. They want to find a way to restore balance, and the only way out for these ions is through the ATP synthase. Um, I couldn't find an analogy for how ATP synthase works, so bear with me. Hydrogen ions pass through the ATP synthase and by their potential energy create ATP. Quite simple. Just have the hydrogen ions that moved into the membrane move out of the membrane through the ATP synthase and be made into ATP. We left off with the electrons of the PS1 and the kids near the end of the structure. Nearing the end, the kids will get off the playground and get ready to head home. They might have brought a dog with them or another pet, you never know. They take the dog and the parents with them, creating a nice little family at the end. In the same manner, electrons take their dog, or in this case, NADP+, and parents, or hydrogen ions. They combine to make a perfect family, or NADPH. That is how ATP and NADPH are created in the light-dependent reaction. These will now be the start for the next step, the Kelvin cycle. Now, let me get something straight. The light-dependent reaction is a key component in photosynthesis, and... Sleds of fun! <laughs>